and my husband is the best because he's like, hey, did you want to run to the store? I'm like, uh, sure. <laughs> so there was like some drama going down there. I don't know how I always get like pulled into drama. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another video. If you're new, my name is Jess, mom of three, wife, and I vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to vlog every day in 2023. I'm doing it, y'all. Um, if you aren't new, welcome back. Thank you for being here and spending another part of your day with me. Today is Friday for us. I know you guys are watching. If you're watching the day it posts, you should be watching on Sunday. So I hope you all are having a great day. Whenever you're choosing to watch this, I hope you've had a great day and are, are blessed. But today is Friday for us and it has been a busy morning. Got up, got the kids to school or on the bus. Lucy, um, you know, she got braces put on Wednesday. So she's been on a couple days now, and she's doing really great. She's done awesome. Um, her mouth is still pretty sore, so I made sure to pack her. Today she had pasta and a yogurt pouch. What else did I pack her? Some mandarin oranges. And then for snacks, she had, like, some puffs and some just really kind of soft. She she can handle, like, it doesn't have to be, like, totally soft, but anything, like, hard is still pretty sore for her mouth. Um, and me and Mark have been playing this morning. Then I got my video. I had a couple videos to edit, got that up. I've been doing, paying some bills and some other stuff. Then I decided to go ahead and get a shower. So my hair is all wet here. <laughs> I, um, when I was editing the video from yesterday, I feel like I didn't explain those deals I got at Sam's very well. So anyway, let me update you now that it's been a hot minute and I wasn't so excited about the deals that I didn't tell y'all. I went to Sam's late last night, like, well, it wasn't late. It was like seven o'clock last night before they closed because there was this crazy deal going around on Ibotta. The deal is now completely gone. I'm so glad I went last night because this morning I looked to see if, if, it, if it was still there and it was gone. Um, but they had tons of like snack items, 50% off rebates and more. Like it was crazy. I ended up getting two boxes of um, Hostess snacks, and these are big like Sam's boxes, two of the Go Go Squeeze yogurt, and um, a big thing of Kool-Aid jammers, a box of donut, little mini donuts, and a box of uh, Little Bites. I'm sorry, my phone's beeping. Little Bite Sprinkles. I feel like that was it. It was a lot of stuff. It was $89. Oh my gosh. It has not beeped at all until I start talking to y'all. Um, it was $89. And so I bought it finally last night. Went pending. So I should be getting that money soon. I'm getting $50 back. Less than $40 for all of that stuff. Such a good deal. So I got over half off and we are stocked. Oh, and two boxes of honey buns. That's what, that's what I was missing. And these are all, everything I'm saying are giant Sam's boxes. Um, so we are stocked on snacks and like quick breakfast and stuff like that for a long time. Um, I, what I ended up doing when I got home was I put all of the snacks in a cabinet and I just got a little box and pulled a few out of each, um, container. And so I'm just going to bring in a little bit at a time um, because that it wouldn't even fit in our pantry if I tried. So we have a little stockpile and um, the kids were excited to see it. Honestly, they were very excited. <laughs> so um, anyway, that was fun last night. I love, I love a good deal. Um, but anyway, Today, I've just been trying to get work done. Like I said, uh, David is usually off on Fridays, but almost always there's stuff he has to do. It's just, you know, church is Sunday and he's got a lot going on. So he's at church. He's hoping to get off a little early today. So I'm trying to get all my work done before he gets home so we can just spend the weekend with the kids and having family time and stuff. Um, but I wanted to open the vlog and say, welcome, everybody. Um, I'm going to bring you guys with me throughout my day. Plan for the day. I'm not sure we have really anything going on. Here comes Marky Boy. Hi, Marky Boy. What you doing? Uh, I will give me like my sprinkle muffins. Mark really loves the sprinkle muffins or the confetti 
Some confetti them. muffins. So I had at Sam's. I gave him some for breakfast and he keeps wanting more. I'm like, you've had them already. They're gone. And he also really loves, I was trying to tell you guys, I didn't know if you would like the go-go squeeze yogurts. And I, when I got home last night, I gave him one, but it wasn't cold. You know, they're just like room temperature in the box and he didn't really like it. But then I put some in the fridge and he really liked it after, after I made them cold. So that's a good thing. Cause I got those big boxes for like $5. Mommy, I have an umbrella. You got an umbrella. You have a very good imagination. It does kind of look like an umbrella. He's been so sweet. Um, we're also getting ready for Grammy and Grandpa to come on Sunday. Um, they're coming to watch the kids so we can go on our staff retreat with our church. And are you excited to see Grammy and Grandpa? On Sunday. On Sunday. We're really excited to see them and Uncle Kevin. On birthday. Not on Thursday. Today's actually Friday. Can you believe it? Friday. Yeah. So anyway, um, I will just carry you guys with me today. I'm hoping to have like some like a family movie night tonight. We'll see what everybody wants to do. Um, just spend some time with the kids. The weeks are going by so fast. Look, it's you, mommy. Oh, you see me through there? I see Marky boy. <laughs> I also need to. This is you. This weekend, I want to pack for the staff retreat. It's just like casual clothes, but I don't know. Like, I, I need a couple more tops. I'm hoping maybe tomorrow I can run into Cato or even Walmart to see if they have any new things and get some like fresh tops to wear. I just don't have anything besides like t shirts that are casual. So, anyway, whatever I do, I'm going to take you guys with me. I will see you guys back in a little bit and we'll spend the day together. All right, you guys, I'm having my HelloFresh Falafel Power Bowl. I've shown you all this before, but it's so good. It's spinach, cucumber, tomatoes, feta, um, almonds, dill, hummus, vinaigrette, and there was something else I didn't say, but I forget what it was. Hummus, dill, well, anyway, and falafel. And then it comes with pita on the side. So I'm going to enjoy this for lunch. Layla's hoping I drop something. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. My hair is crazy, but it's, it's mostly air dried. Um, David just texted me. It's like 2 o'clock. And he's like, I'm going to go ahead and come home. I'm down with work. And my husband is the best because he's like, hey, did you want to run to the store? I'm like, uh, sure. <laughs> So, um, he was telling me that Cole's, I guess he was returning something today, you know, how you can return like Amazon stuff. And he was saying they were having another sale, but I don't know if I'm going to go there. Cause I just have been shopping there a lot and I haven't seen anything I've been really looking for, but I thought about going into Cato or, um, Ross and just, I want some casual tops to wear, um, for this week coming up week and for fall. So he's going to come home soon and we'll go shopping. You want to go shopping with me? Um, I think I'm going to make a coffee to take with me. I don't know if I want to do iced or hot. I like doing iced because it's just easier to make with my espresso machine, but then sometimes like there's nothing like a hot coffee too. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to make something and when he gets home, he can get the kids off the bus and I'm going to go just look for tops um, and I'll see y'all. We'll, we'll go together. All right, because it's like a dreary kind of blustery day outside, I decided to go for hot. It has been weeks, probably months since I've made myself a hot latte. I normally don't because it has a lot of milk in there. And I've tried doing oat milk hot, but it like curdles or something weird. And so I only do that cold. Um, so this is a milk latte. And I put a little bit of caramel on top. And this is like divine. It's so good. And it's filled to the brim. Hey, why are you telling me to be quiet? Mark's over here spelling out letters with his puzzle. He can spell his own name now, y'all. He is smart. Yeah. Mark loves the ABCs just as much as Nate and Lucy always did. All right, let's test it. Mm. Hot. Oh, that's so good. I put um, two pumps of the vanilla cream sugar, uh, skinny syrup, sugar-free syrup, and one pump of 
pecan caramel. So it's like pecan caramel vanilla cream latte. I don't have any makeup on, which I normally like to have a little bit of makeup when I go shopping. So I think I'm going to just put a little bit on. It makes me feel like the clothes look better. So I'm going to do that while we're waiting. Quit telling me to be quiet, dude. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go do that while we're waiting on daddy to come home. Daddy's coming home. Okay, guys. So. I just put a little bit of makeup on. It just makes me feel better. Um, David's home. I ended up giving him like most of my latte. It was super good, but I got like the taste of it and that's all I really wanted. So he's having the rest and he's playing with Mark until the big kids get home. I think I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start with Kato. I feel it. I haven't found anything good at Kato in years. <laughs> I just feel like it'd be a good place to start. David did give me this 20% off coupon for Kohl's. Um, I don't know. There's this place called City Trends. I was looking on their website and it looks like, at least their clothes online look very young. <laughs> like, way too young, the, the style that I wear. Um, I'm trying to think of where else I could go. I thought about even Walmart, but our Walmart is completely torn up. I haven't been in there in a while. So maybe Walmart, but... It looks like it's going to rain. So anyway, let's go shopping. All right, guys. Shirt number one. Not sure about the bedazzleness, but it is very comfortable. I don't know if I like it, though. Okay, this is so comfortable. Long sleeve. Okay. Almost like thermal texture. We think I'm not a big fan of this shirt. I think it's too like form fitting. But what about the jacket? I've been wanting a blue jean jacket. It does have the pockets, but they're a little higher up, which I think is more flattering. Possibly, possibly a winner. Okay, I like this shirt. I have this similar one um, that I wear all the time. It's solid, but. No, it's longer, which I like. It's pretty for fall. And I think this one was one of the ones that was on clearance. Maybe. Okay. This is very casual. It's got a hoodie. I think this would be good for like um, yoga pants even. It says grateful and blessed. Cute. Okay, I love this one. Super cute and super comfortable. Um, I love the color. It's a cool neckline. Like this one is cute. I don't know how flattering this is, but this is so comfortable. It's like wearing a big blanket and I could see myself wearing this all the time with different shirts. And then this shirt underneath is cute too. Okay, guys, there was like some drama going down in here. I don't know how I always get like pulled into drama. Um, I was about to check out and this lady came in and she was like trying to return a lot of stuff. And I don't know if they got suspicious about something or what happened, but it took forever. They ended up like making her wait and they're like calling corporate and all this stuff. And I was just standing there like waiting to check out. <laughs> and I thought surely they would like move her to the side and let me check out but I stood there for like 20 minutes and finally they were like oh is it okay if we get her real quick I'm like thank you and um she's still in there so I don't know what's going on um but I got was able to check out I wanted to get the denim jacket so bad. I tried it on again after the first time when I showed y'all. And I realized that the pockets, the like side pockets, like where you put stuff, were sewn together. Like you could not, they weren't made to be actual functioning pockets. And I feel like I want them to be pockets. Like I want to be able to put my hand in the pocket. And so I'm just going to wait. Um, I'll find the right blue jean jacket. But I ended up getting the green shirt with the like diagonal, it's not really a shirt that normally I'd be drawn to, but I just feel like it was really flattering on me and it was long. I could wear them with like leggings. 
I got that. I got that comfy gray <laughs> thing, blanket. <laughs> I just love that thing. I need to get, I don't know. I, I need to figure out what I need to wear underneath. I feel like you need to wear it with like longer sleeves, right? Otherwise it'll look weird. I don't know. Anyway, I got that. And then I got that um, shirt that was on clearance, that like reddish print with the cool neckline. So I think because I'm in the same strip as Ross, I'm just going to walk into Ross. You can get really good deals there. It's just hit or miss. So I'm going to go in there and then um, I maybe will go to Target because I know all of their shoes are 20% off. And I have been wanting white tennis shoes. Like, you know, the cute little bop around town tennis shoes like everybody's wearing and they have some. So I don't have any socks to try them on, but I want to look at them and see. Um, I'm a pretty solid size 10. So um, before I had kids, I was a nine. <laughs> yeah, my foot's grown. Um, so anyway, I thought I would check out Target. So running into those few places and I did pretty good at Cato. They had actually a lot of stuff that I was like, mm, you know, it was cute, like that grateful and blessed, like really cute. I just would rather not have words on my shirt. I would have much rather preferred if it was um, like just plain. Sometimes they bedazzle and stuff too much in there. And they had a lot of like jeans on sale. I didn't try anything like that on because I have several pair of jeans that fit. Um, but I think the white tennis shoes would also be really cute with the ankle jeans I've gotten at Kohl's. So anyway, I'm going to go into Ross and um, I'll let y'all know if I find anything. Hopefully everything's okay in Kato. I was starting to get a little... They were They were acting like it was really weird because she was checking out and then... One of the ladies like went to like the side where I was like kind of in the corner of the store because I was looking at some jewelry and she was like whispering on the phone <laughs> and then she was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're gonna have to wait a minute. And she went in the very back of the store. It just seemed really weird. So I hope everything's okay. And anyway, I'll see y'all back in a little Let's bit. Start a new series of like adventures in shopping. <laughs> it's always run into the funniest things and weirdest things. So I went into Ross. There's no clothes that I found, but I did find. Look how cute these shoes are. Oh, they're together. Look how cute. These are Pumas too. And I got them for 32. I think it was like 32. No, 34.99. So $35, which is a little more than the ones at Target were going to be. But this is like a name brand. I feel like it's better quality. So I'm excited. They fit great. Um, so I was checking out. Of course, there's like 20 people checking out. One register open. That's just Ross for you. And a couple of people in front of me, this lady was checking out. Older lady. She had a bunch of stuff. It was one of those things like they kept trying to ask her, do you need help out to your car? And she's like, no, no. But she had a lot of stuff. She leaves, the next people come, and they're like, oh no, she left her card in the machine, the other lady, the one that with all the stuff. So when the next customers got rung up, it got automatically charged to her card because it was in the machine, they didn't realize. So um, she's like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and credit her card back so when she comes back in, we can tell her what happened. So of course she comes back in and they're trying to tell her, this is what happened, but we've already credited your receipt, here's the receipt. She got so upset and so confused, like not understanding. She's like, but you already gave me my receipt. Why are you charging me extra items? And so they were trying, the, the girls in there were very young little girls. And they were like, you know, ma'am, we didn't mean to. You left your card on the machine. On that. She just didn't understand. So she got really upset and like stormed out. And they were like really flustered. And anyway, um, that's what happened. <laughs> I, I just want to go and everybody's like, I hate self-checkout. Why are we doing self-checkout? This is why I like self-checkout. I have had the worst like time standing in line today. I think I've stood in line longer than I've shopped and I've been gone over an hour. So I'm not going to go to Target because I found the shoes, but David was asking if I would look for him some shirts. And I'm trying to think of the best place. Men's clothes are hard. Um, I think I'm maybe Kohl's for him, although I looked a couple weeks ago and didn't see much. But why not? Let me go run by Kohl's. And I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else. I mean, maybe Target would have stuff. It's just hit or miss with them. He wants some like casual shirts that aren't t-shirts, but are more casual that he can wear to work and or wear underneath something to preach. I don't know. So 
I think I'm going to go to Kohl's. I mean, maybe even Walmart, honestly, would have stuff. It's, he gets a lot of his clothes at Walmart, and so do I. I mean, I feel like they're, they have good quality stuff. So not really good quality. Well, some of the tops I've gotten at Walmart have lasted longer than tops I've gotten at nice stores. It's just a hit, very hit or miss, but I don't know. Should I go to Kohl's or Walmart? I'm thinking about just going to Walmart because I feel like I'll I usually I have more options there for him, and we need milk. We always need milk. So, plus, I want to get a few things so when uh, Grammy and Grandpa come, they don't have to worry about anything. I know we're low on French toast, we're low on goldfish, and like a couple other snacks that I know the kids will like to have when we're gone. So, I could just kill all of those birds with <laughs> one stone. So, I think I'm gonna go to Walmart. Honestly, too, like, I mean, they didn't have a lot of clothes out, but I've heard that their fall collection's really good this year. So, Maybe I could find a couple more shirts at Walmart. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to Walmart. I talked myself into it. Let's go to Walmart. I'll meet you guys back home. I'll show you everything I got. Um, but I'm really excited about the shoes. I think they're so cute. I need some, like, no-show socks, though. What's funny is Nate socks fit me. <laughs> Sometimes when I want no-show socks, I just wear Nate socks. But um, maybe I should get my own. Because I feel like with those, it'll be, should be more comfortable to wear socks. So... All right, people, on to the next door. I'll see you guys back at home. All right, you guys, I know the fan's going and Mark is blaring a game, but let me show you real quick. I showed you guys and told you about what I got at Kohl's, but this shirt, $25.99. This was the one on sale, which I loved, $11.99. And then I loved this jacket blanket thing, and it was like $26, I think. Um, I don't even know where the price tag is. Here it is. It was $28.99. So cute. Then my shoes at Ross, $34.99. And then I didn't find much at Walmart. I got, hey, buddy. Here comes Marky. Um, I got some new pajama pants. Literally, I have two pairs of pajama pants, and they both have holes. So these were $10. Um, they were on sale for $10. And then I, I wanted to replace, I had some like, comfy just stretchy pants yeah. black last year and they got bleach all over them so I wanted to replace them these were $18 they just looked really comfy and that's it plus I got milk goldfish and some Pringles so very exciting so I'm gonna start dinner now all right you guys it's the end of the night so I made like everybody like Friday nights are usually either we'll do something fun or like order pizza or um, make a pizza or something, or we will just have whatever night. <laughs> so Lucy, um, ended up eating chicken. Her mouth is still pretty sore. I had made her ABC one, two, threes, but she didn't like them. So she ended up eating chicken. Nate had chicken and Mark had just a variety of different snacks and yogurt and stuff. David ended up eating some chicken sandwiches and I had girl dinner. <laughs> I love watching the girl dinner uh, videos, but it was, I ended up eating the ABC one, two, threes that Lucy did not like. I don't think I've had those since I was like her age. So it was very nostalgic, but I had that and I made it myself a little protein wrap with some chicken, buffalo sauce, lettuce, and cheese, and a little bit of ranch. And I had some pineapple, which was so good. The pineapple I got yesterday is delicious. And then we watched most of the movie Elemental on Disney Plus. Um, the kids kind of got over it towards the end, so we'll try to finish it maybe tomorrow. But we watched most of that, and I read a little bit. We all like cuddled and read and played. I've been reading the Leah Remini book, Troublemaker. I've been all into like Scientology, um, like the people who've come out of Scientology and stuff. It's so fascinating, and her book is pretty good. So I'm just reading that and it's now like nine o'clock. Everybody's going to bed. So I'm going to get myself ready for bed. I, I feel tired. And Friday night is the only night that we sleep in. We don't really sleep in. Let's be real. Kids are up. It's usually around six anyway, but there's nothing we have to get ready for. We can kind of be lazy and take our time with the morning, which is always good. We don't have really anything planned tomorrow except just getting everything ready for Grammy and grandpa to come and all of that. So 
I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I love you all so much. If you like the vlog, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you're new and leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys back tomorrow. Bye, guys. It's been a struggle